Good morning everybody, we're uh, here in Tarpon Springs at Suncoast Speed getting ready to put a, a sidecar on a Honda Ruckus and we thought we'd just let you know ahead of time here what tools you're going to need. So uh, from uh, left to right here we've got a rubber mallet to help put in the uh, bracket, 9 16 deep well socket, a 3 quarter inch socket, 9 16 regular socket, a half inch, and a 7 16 on the sockets. Uh, open ended wrench, we've got 7 16 half inch, 3 quarter. We have uh, two small sockets, uh, which are ratchets, which will help in installation. If you don't have two, it's okay, you can use an open ended wrench. We just uh, use the second socket. And a larger socket. We have a 3 16 Allen wrench. And uh, again, you're going to want to get a good quarter inch cobalt uh, metal drill bit that's going to help in uh, drilling. Uh, your bolts for the frames and a good cordless drill with a little bit of WD-40 to help uh, help cool the drill bit down and uh, help cut through the metal. So we'll uh, we'll see you in the next video and uh, get her installed. Hey guys, it's Jason, Celtic Sidecars. Uh, today we're here in Tarpon Springs, Florida at Suncoast Speed. Uh, we're going to install one of our sidecars on a Honda Ruckus. Uh, this one I think is a 2014. Uh, first things you're going to have to find is the two 7 16 bolts that came with everything. Get yourself a, a 7 16 ratchet and socket and a 7 16 open ended wrench. It's going to be helpful to have a, um, a rubber mallet. If you don't have one you can use a hammer just to maybe wrap a towel or something around the end of it so you don't damage the bracket when we put it on. Uh, cordless drill and do yourself a favor and get a cobalt quarter inch metal bit. Uh, it's going to save a lot of hassle when, when we drill the frame. So once you have all those items together, uh, you'll be ready for the next video. All right, guys, first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the bracket into the frame. Uh, if you look, both holes on each side, one here opposite. Uh, if you notice on the bracket, there's a flat spot that actually goes past a weld here that you can feel. Uh, so you can't put it on wrong. Make sure the long side is on the right side of the scooter. And uh, you're just going to simply insert it. Slide it up as far as you can. Uh, sometimes they go all the way up. This one almost did. But if not, take your rubber mallet. Just tap it up. Make sure it's all the way in. And as you can probably see, it actually comes all the way up and touches the bottom of the pan there. So. That's as far as we're going to go with this step, and we'll see you on the next video. All right, guys. Once you have your bracket in place, it's going to be time to drill. Um, again, with your quarter-inch cobalt metal bit. It's going to make life a lot easier. And then uh, something we like to do is, while you're drilling, you can spray a little WD-40 on there. Helps cut through the metal better and keeps it a little cooler. Sometimes it helps. Um, be sure to keep your drill flat. Uh, pick a spot in the frame here. We already have ours drilled because we've already had a sidecar on this unit. Uh, we're just using it for demo purposes. So um, again, make sure you keep your drill flat so when you drill through, your bolt lines up and you're not going to have any problems sliding it in place. Once that's done, you can find your 7 16 bolts, nuts and washers. Should be able to slide it right through. finger tight. And then I used the uh, open-ended 7 16 on the back. Make sure those are good and tight. Then you're going to do the, uh, the opposite side and you'll be ready for the next step. Once you have the bracket installed on the, on the scooter, now it's time to attach the jack leg to the frame plate. Uh, you're just going to need your, your 7 16 ratchet and socket and open ended wrench that you've already used. Uh, when it was shipped to you, it should have had a bolt, washers and nuts right through here. We're going to remove that one, set it aside for the time being. Now, if you can tell, we have a tab here with a hole in it and then the uh, hole you just took the bolt out of. Just going to slide it in and line those two up. Then what you can do is just drop your bolt through and then tighten on the back end. And what that will do is actually hold everything in place and keep it lined up for you on the next steps. 
which will be in the next video. All right, guys, once you have that bolt in place and tightened up, uh, that'll hold everything in place for you for the next step, and that is to tighten up the uh, three quarter inch bolts. Get yourself a, a three quarter inch open end wrench, and then you'll need your three quarter inch socket and ratchet, like so. Tighten these up good. Um, I recommend going from one to the next. Uh, you'll see that metal starting to tighten up. Once it starts to pull in a little bit, switch it over to the next one, do the same thing. If you happen to have an impact wrench, you can do this with an impact wrench. And save a lot of time, but a lot of guys don't have them, so we're going to do it the old fashioned way here. Once you think they're tight, keep going. Uh, keep going from one to the next, and a lot of times you want to loosen up. Let's go back and forth until they're both snug. And then once they're both good and snug, uh, you'll see that these pulled in quite a bit. And just make sure periodically you check those, make sure nothing loosens up. Check all your nuts and bolts just to be safe. But uh, that kind of finishes up this step, and we'll see you on the next one. Alright guys, once you have the jack leg and everything installed with the wheel, uh, you're going to need your 7 16 cents open-ended and your 7 16 socket again. When it was shipped to you, you should have a 7 16 inch bolt through here. Just going to take that off and set it aside for now. And if you notice, there's a pre-drilled hole in the bracket and then the hole that you just removed the bolt from. You're going to slide, slide the uh, frame itself onto there, line up that hole, and you're going to put your bolt and nut through and tighten that up and you'll be ready for the next step. Alright guys, now that you've got the 7 16 bolt through and tightened up, um, something we didn't mention in, in the last video, but sometimes once you slide that on, if you take the scooter off the kickstand, it's a lot easier to line it up and, and get that bolt through. So once that one's in and tightened up, we're ready to move on to the, uh, the 3 9 16 bolts. And we've changed over to 9 16 ratchets. Uh, you can use an open-ended here. I like to use a deep well. It just gets a little more, uh, little more grip. So we're going to tighten one at a time. It comes with three bolts. You don't really need three. Uh, a lot of times we just use the ones on the ends. You can put the third one in if you want to. Um, as you start tightening these, you'll see that aluminum start pulling in here. Uh, get them all good and tight. What I do usually is just go from one to the next. And go back through. But you can see how that's starting to pull in tight. It doesn't have to close all the way. Some do, some don't. <clears throat> they all vary just a little bit. But as long as it's tight, you have the other 7 16 bolt through, you're going to be good. Um, Finish tightening everything up as much as you can. And we're all done. You see this one pulled in almost all the way closed. That's good. So it's nice and tight. We know it's not going to come off, especially with that 7 16 set screw through there. And uh, we'll be ready for the next video. Hi right, guys, next thing we can do is tighten up the fender. Uh, it ships on here, but uh, you can adjust it to whatever looks best for you. Uh, 3 16 Allen wrench, and there's a set screw right here on the end of the spindle on the hub. Uh, just make sure that's good and tight. Maybe use a little Loctite on it. You don't want that to come loose, and uh, if it does, you'll run over your fender and you'll be uh, ordering a new one, so we don't want that to happen. So make sure that's good and tight. 3 16 Allen wrench. And uh, make sure not to step on the fender. Uh, they're good and, good and sturdy, but if you step on it, it will bend in, and again, you'll be ordering a new fender. So make sure that set screw is tight, not a step. We'll see you in the next video. All right, guys, once you've got the frame complete, the last thing is going to be is to install the fiberglass tub. You should have four half inch bolts and washers in your uh, kit with the large washers. Uh, these are half inch, so you're going to need half inch open ended wrench and a half inch socket set. Now if you notice in the frame and the aluminum there are four pre-drilled holes. So what you're going to do 
Take the fiberglass, also has four pre-drilled holes. Line up those holes the best you can. Sometimes they're not perfect. We do make them all by hand. Uh, so sometimes they vary just a little bit. If they do, drill a little bit larger hole. Um, next thing you're gonna do, install the four bolts. Washers on the inside, nuts on the bottom. Go around, hit all four of those, tighten those up, and we'll see you on the next video. All right, everybody, now that you've got all your bolts and nuts and washers tightened up, uh, you're pretty much ready to ride. Um, something you'll want to do occasionally or really each time before you ride. Kind of take a look at your bolts and nuts. Make sure nothing's uh, loosened up. Make sure they're all tight. Maybe some Loctite, things like that. Uh, we've gone ahead and slid our carpet and uh, we've got a folding seat in this unit. Uh, put your dog bed in. Um, when you start riding, uh, give yourself an hour or so, ride around the neighborhood, slow speeds. Kind of get used to it because it will ride different with the sidecar on it. Um, something that we've done in the past is put salt bags in here. Um, it rides a lot different with and without weight. So uh, cruise around your neighborhood. Uh, don't get it out on the busy streets right away uh, until you're comfortable with it. So, you know, keep keep both your hands on. You will get a little shake sometimes. Um, it's just part of it. So enjoy it. Be safe. Be fun. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.